Hello guys, so in this video we are going to configure and optimize our settings.py file of our Django project. We are going to follow this tutorial which is on my website studygyan.com. So why we need to optimize our settings.py file? Django by default has lots of configuration in settings.py file. Now we are not going to mess those settings so we need to optimize the settings.py file. So let's move to first optimize solution where we are going to create three list default apps list third party app list and local apps list and then we are going to concat all these list in installed apps django by default has installed apps but we are going to install third party app libraries also so we are going to keep all those libraries in this app list and we are going to create the local app project list apps so we are going to keep all the apps in this and then we are going to concat so open your settings.py file and in that change this to default apps and below that list we are going to create a third party app list local app And in this installed apps, we are going to concat all the list of apps. This plus is for concatenation. Okay, save this. Now first solution is done. Let's see the terminal and is everything working fine? Yes, everything is working fine. If we see the browser also, everything is working fine. Now we are going to create a local separate Django database setting. This system has different local settings. Let's say we are going to install this project on different system. That system will have local different setting database file. So what we are going to create, we are going to create a local settings.py file and in that we are going to keep the database configuration. This configuration is for MySQL. If you want MySQL and Django video, comment below. For simplification in this project, we are going to use MySQLite database. Okay, so we'll create a local settings.py file in the main folder where our settings.py file is located. Local underscore settings.py file and we'll create it then we are going to keep the database configuration here we are going to create we are using sqlite 3 in this project which is the default one okay we are going to remove this one okay and we are going to import this save this one and save this one now we have created this local settings.py file now we need to import this one so for importing we are going to use try accept okay try then from uh, crm the folder name local so settings.py file local settings import and star which means everything accept accept import error then pass save this and let's see the terminal everything is working fine so we are not getting any errors uh, in the previous video we have put in this media file static file so these are the configuration optimization solution where we are telling that the templates folder is located in base directory and we have created this one in the previous video we have created this static file we need to change this with this okay save the file everything is working fine if we see the browser also everything is working fine so in this tutorial we have optimized our settings.py file for future modifications okay uh, in the next video we are going to 
integrate bootstrap port template in our django project thanks for watching have a nice day